sweet the way the score ended up, but you had to be pretty happy with the way you were able to make some plays out there. Yeah, uh, going into it, I obviously knew it was going to be my last game, and uh, I kind of figured what a better way to go out than play against the other state school. So uh, I was happy with the way I played. Just wish we could have came out with a win. Josh, could you talk about from a player standpoint the start? And you guys have talked about this week, you know, coming to the fire and intensity get going right away. Um, how difficult was it to try and overcome having the rug pull out from you early? Yeah, it was a it was a shot to the gut right away. I mean, we, we made too many mistakes right away, and it was just hard to overcome. It kind of took the air out of us, and you know we never really got back on track after that. And we just can't start games like that and expect to win. Will, I know uh, you had a a nice day numbers wise. Had a chance early on uh, on a flag route that uh, or a post route that would have been a huge play. Is that discouraged you not to be able to make that one happen right out of the gate? Yeah, I mean that that play. I mean, could have changed the whole aspect of the game. Um, you know that win was blowing pretty hard at the beginning of the game, and it kind of just took it away from me. Josh had a good ball; the wind just took it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we connect on that, it's a whole different ball game. What was the atmosphere out there, Will, in terms of the rivalry? Some big, some healthy give and take between the two teams, or get a little nasty at times, or what was it like? Uh, I mean, the atmosphere was everything uh, I've been dreaming about. You know, since I got here at USD, the fans were incredible today um, on both sides. Um, you know, State has a really solid team, and, and we knew it was going to be a battle from the start. Um, and, you know, it wasn't any more chippy than any other game. We're going to fight until the whistle blows at the end of the game, and that's what happened, and they were doing the same. And, uh, unfortunately, we just didn't come on on top. Josh, it seemed like the offense kind of got rolling after halftime. You had a couple drives in a row inside the red zone, just couldn't come away with points. That had to be another shot to the gut, I suppose. Not coming away with points, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean... We move the ball well, but I mean, it's it doesn't mean anything if we don't put it in. And you know, it was it was good to see us move the ball like that. But when we get in the red zone, we got to capitalize. It's just it, it's another shot to the gut when you don't get it in the end zone. You get that close, especially three times like we did. You know, we got to improve on that and put the ball in the end zone. Josh, their red zone defensive numbers have been really good all year. Is there, from a quarterback standpoint, they do something differently in that part of the field? Uh, I don't know. I think just maybe. You know, they get a little more intense, and you know they're not going to let us in. So they did a great job. You know, hats off to them. They stopped us when we got in there. And, you know, as a defense, that's what you need to do when we get in the red zone. They want to stop us. So great job by them. Josh is one of the guys that's going to be back uh, for future battles. I mean, how is important? How critical is it for USD to sort of close that gap and, and show that they can not come into this game looking for? Uh, just an exclamation point, but actually be you know, a playoff-type team and be on the same level as SDSU. Yeah, that'd be big. I mean, it'd be good for the rivalry and good for our school. You know, we just got to keep improving. It's going to, you know, we're going to take this into the offseason and not forget about it. And we're going to use any fuel we got from the season and just try to be a better team each and every day. Josh, what are some of the things that you are going to take away from this season that you hope will carry over into next season and that you hope to build on? Well, obviously, we have a lot of motivation, you know, going one and ten like this, and it hurts. It hurt every single week, so we don't we don't want to feel that again. We don't want to feel what we felt tonight or today again. So that's going to be our motivation all season. Just we don't want to go through this again, and we want to be a better team next year. Well, what do you take from the season, knowing that this was your last game? Uh, um, you know, it, it, it was a frustrating season. You know, if you would ask any of us. That we were going to be one and ten at the beginning of the season, we would have, you know, laughed in your face. Um, none of us expected that at all. But you know, I just was been so impressed with how this team handled themselves week in and week out. You know, continuing to lose, but just staying optimistic and, and keeping faith in each other. Um, you know, that just says a lot about the type of players that we brought in and the type of coach Coach Glenn is. And, and we just have an incredible program, and I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the future. Anything else for the players?